what up everybody, Straight Up West Outdoors here, um, sorry for the noise in the background, so anyways, i um, been out here painting decoys again, silhouettes for um, the upcoming goose season for me, which starts November 4th, um, instead of a paintbrush I usually use an old beat up rag and just dip it in paint and paint up the decoys. Um, what you don't want is satin or high gloss paint because if you have high gloss paint your decoys will shine. If your decoys shine then you won't get too many shoots on geese or ducks because they don't like shiny decoys. They just don't like it. From experience I've had bad experiences when I first started out and I repainted these decoys and I painted it with satin and they're all shiny and I didn't I didn't get one goose that day because they kept flaring on my spread. They liked it but they kept flaring and I never did get a goose that day because all my decoys were shiny. They'll also shine when you have a frost, get frost. If you guys like to use full body decoys and you're hunting in private fields, awesome, but you get a 20 20 dozen spread out there where all of a sudden, you know, it was frosty in the morning and then the sun hits it and then it starts melting them and then pretty soon you got shine over 20 dozen decoys that's a lot to wipe off, so I guarantee you get some flare on that one. But like I said, just use flat paint. Um, don't use anything shiny, don't use satin, don't use high gloss, you won't get a goose down in your spray. But I'm running silhouettes this year, they're all the flat geese. Um, here's a couple that I've painted already, I'm um, already done, there's a sleeper goose. And uh, I put my stands, I mounted my stands with uh, all weather zip ties. So I drilled some holes and then zip tied them on um, bamboo stakes. These are solid bamboo stakes. You don't want to get uh, hollow ones because they'll snap on you. Get the solid. These are solid. You'll find them in your garden center at, at Lowe's or Home Depot or even Walmart. You might have them too. They come in like four foot to six foot sections and uh, you just paint them up and then zip tie them to your, your uh, silhouette. And these are quarter inch uh, plywood um, silhouettes here. So you just get a, get a design, get an old decoy, trace around it, and then you use, you know, use uh, that, tra that uh, outline and cut it, and there you go. And then just make more and more silhouettes. I even have uh, some snow goose ones. Here's a sleeper snow goose. Here's a upright upward couple feeder feeder snow geese. Um, you know, just kind of add some more realism to my spread. And then somebody wanted me to uh, talk about my flapper here. Um, so this is my flapper goose decoy that I made. Um, don't worry about this rope. I just use this to hang it on my wall. But. So what you want to do, you get a, um, an arrow shaft, or those of you that don't archery hunt, you use a wooden dowel, and, uh, and use a wooden, wooden dowel, and put it all the way through, and then cut it like three foot, three and a half foot to four foot, and then get 12 inch sections on either side, and you want to drill two holes, make sure they line up, and then push it all the way through, and then uh, sew up some fabric right here and uh, I get this at Walmart for I think it's a dollar fifty a yard and three feet a yard so you can make a lot of wings and I improved it from the last time I made my home homemade goose flapper I put lighter material on there instead of a black t-shirt and uh, it flaps really good on a six foot tent pole goes in there you want to make sure also that when you drill the holes you don't have this tight you want it to move with the wind because if you don't have it move with the wind it won't flap right so there you go and when you do that so you get it three three and a half feet 12 12 inch section here and you want to uh, electrical tape it in the middle 
to where they they uh, they come across because to get that you're gonna have to have it cut and then have another section come down and then what I did was electrical tape it and then sewed the fabric around it or you could use super glue but sometimes super glue eats through fabric so you gotta be careful with that so yeah I'm gonna be running silhouettes this year and uh, you know a couple of full bodies and stuff like that but after the silhouettes and my shells my flappers and my full bodies and all that stuff I think I got 15 dozen decoys now so I don't know if I'm gonna run all those but here you go so it's basically it so thanks for all the subscribers thanks for watching and I'll try and post more videos sorry I've been slacking on that I got a full-time job so it's kind of hard to post videos every day so all right straight up west outdoors out Peace.